prices lower. Back home, as crude oil prices drop below $80 a barrel, the windfall tax is unlikely to provide a significant fiscal cushion to the government. The estimate of 30 to 40,000 crore rupee benefit is under pressure. Sources add the tax mechanism is likely to continue even if levies become nil due to falling oil prices. Sapna joins us now with more in the CNBC TV 18 exclusive. Sapna. The government is unlikely to bank on windfall tax accruals as a significant fiscal cushion. In government's view, had Brent crude oil stayed at $120 a barrel, around the same level when the tax was first levied, the revenue gains would have been significant. But currently, Indian crude oil basket is below $80 a barrel, denting expectations of substantial gains. The government now expects to garner roughly 30 to 35 odd thousand crores March end via the windfall tax. One view also is, on a net-net basis, actual revenue gain could be further limited to 20 to 25 odd thousand crores. This is because the government is likely to lose out on corporate tax collections from oil cores, the largest contributor to corporate taxes. Even if the government is able to net that 35 odd thousand crores, there are already claims against the mop-up. Government-owned OMCs have already been compensated by 22 odd thousand crores against their LPG losses. Further to that, the government is currently discussing compensating OMCs for their petrol and diesel losses too. Estimated losses arising due to the price freeze on petrol and diesel are pegged at a massive 45 odd thousand crores. However, one view within the government is that they do not have the fiscal space to compensate OMCs yet again. But discussions are not closed yet. Officials also say it would be difficult to have a clear-cut revenue target on windfall tax, simply because the price swings on crude oil and cracks are too many. At best, windfall tax collections can be subsumed into the overall excise kitty without a separate budget head. Also, the government forgo 1 lakh crore in excise revenues when it slashed duties on petrol and diesel in May last year. To an extent, the windfall tax could be used to plug that gap. All in all, it's likely that the government will continue with the windfall tax mechanism even if levies become nil due to fallen crude oil and commodity cracks.